We want you to be able to just look at this thing and feel like, okay, I can like go out into the world, nothing's going to hurt this truck, and I can conquer and do whatever I need to do with it. I'm Tyler Butler. I've been with Black Widow Trucks for 10 years. I started on the assembly line building the Black Widow Trucks and then as I gained experience I wanted to learn more about the design process so that's how I ended up being in production design and development. My name is Chris Chappelle and I'm an industrial designer for Black Widow Trucks. I've been working at Black Widow, uh, working in the design department for about a year now. It's been a lot of fun, uh, you know, getting into automotive design is something I always wanted to do. Finally had the chance and took it. Uh, my involvement with the new Silverado Black Widow release would be test fitting all the new parts and components that we designed for the new truck and then helping the production line get ready to build these in mass quantities. I guess my, the piece I enjoyed working on the most was the grill. I was pretty heavily involved in uh, coming up with the design for that. I guess we went through probably 15 iterations before we kind of locked in on the direction we went. The most challenging part that we designed for the new Black Widow truck would be the grill, I would think. Uh, just because of the size of the part, we we're using injection molding. We we're just trying to make the truck look more powerful, more aggressive, uh, you know, a bigger buffer stance. I mean, it's just a larger part, so the fitment's more critical. And in the past, we haven't done full grill replacement, so that, that large part was probably the biggest, biggest task, I think. In the past, we always put big fender flares with bolts all in them, and this year they're smooth, they're skinnier, and they just look more streamlined and OEM to me. The Black Widow is supposed to be an aggressive OEM, which so it kind of keeps and it's, it blends in with the OEM look more than some of the other lines, just trying to take that form factor and push it farther. I think that we are able to push the limits of the vehicle design where the OEMs can't. We can have that opportunity to pull that concept truck out and bring in those elements that um, on the larger OEM side were not feasible, were not capable. We can pull that off. We can bring that excitement, bring that aggression back. With Black Widow specifically, our goal is always to stay true to the OEM brand, but just turn it up two to three more notches in the aggression, the attitude and the style of the vehicle. So I'm sketching bumper concepts, uh, you know, for one of our trucks that we'll be designing here. So we'll have a lot of like detailed elements that kind of show the, um, you know, truth in manufacturing. So we want it to be a, you know, a powerful thing that's capable and can actually take an OEM truck beyond what it was from the factory, not only in appearance, but in, you know, capability and real world functionality. And you do that through, you know, designed in real features, real forms, you know, shapes that capture that excitement and, uh, yeah, powerful shapes. We've been working on this truck for, what, six months now, but seeing it all together, painted, finished, the parts are fitting the way we intended them to fit, it feels good to finally see it rolling out. Now, when I see one come off the line, it's awesome, you know, it feels, you know, feels great to see something I was involved with. You know, it's just, it's been a lot of fun and I've really enjoyed the, you know, being involved with it. I think my advice for an owner of the Black Widow truck would be to get out there and use the truck as intended. It's supposed to look cool, but it's also capable. It's got great ground clearance, good power, you know, awesome tires, you know, to get in the mud and enjoy the thing. Use it like a truck, haul your boat, and just have fun with it. Oh, my God.